my gosh. Right, we'll get into this in one second, but some inside baseball first. I, Simon Miller from One Culture Wrestling, don't see every single piece of wrestling news. Either you miss it or it escapes you, but it doesn't matter because you wake up the next day and something else is broken. Furthermore, when it comes to all of this madness, we here at What Culture Wrestling will share the load. So sometimes something will pop up on your desk when you're like, oh, I didn't realize that was a thing, but sure, it's my turn to do the video on it, so I will go and do the video on it. And usually it makes you go, oh, wow, okay, interesting. But today it made me go, what the fuck? But seriously, if you have even thought the words AEW has botched CM Punk, you are crazy. Why? Here's why. That's not even the name of the title, but the point is nobody but no one is botching CM Punk. I mean, where do I even start? I suppose the source for all this is that weird corner of the internet where people just say things, I swear, just to say things. And yes, recently Eric Bischoff also came out of his podcast and said, when it comes to CM Punk and All Elite Wrestling, I think he's underdelivered. Now look, I respect Mr. Bischoff. Back in the 90s, he basically changed wrestling and he gave us so much. When I hear things like that, I just say, no, it is no. Now, usually I'm all for opinions, and if you have this one, you're more than allowed it, but it makes me want to take my fist and ram it right into my eye. Because even if CM Punk had come back to wrestling and had an eight-week feud with a fish, I would have been totally on board because it's CM Punk coming back to professional wrestling. I mean, this man was gone from the business at one point for seven years, and at one stage it looked like he was never going to return, and now you got a bee in your bonnet because he's not the world TNT TBS women's and tag team champion. I mean, you have got to be kidding me. For starters, sometimes it's just nice to take what you can get and CM Punk being back in a ring is more than enough. I mean, I still look at him sometimes and go, because <laughs> I can't believe it. But also, if you go through all the matches he has had, are you actually going to come up in here in my house and tell me that any of them have been bad? What is wrong with you? I mean, the Darby Allen one was filled with emotion. The Powerhouse Hobbs one was all like big guy versus not so big guy. Daniel Garcia and Bobby Fish went all technical on our ass. And the Matt Seidel one was just awesome. I know you want to see Punk versus Danielson, Punk versus Kenny Omega, Punk versus Cody Rhodes, Punk versus whoever. But give it for time, for goodness sake, especially when around the same period, Brian Danielson did come in and his first match was against Brian Danielson. No, it wasn't. It wasn't against himself. It was against Kenny Omega. So even if you were desperate for this stuff, that's what he chose to do. As CM Punk went on the very enjoyable, I'm going to wrestle a bunch of young guys tour. And of course it rocked. Again, I don't want to double down on this. We saw CM Punk versus Darby Allen. As I always say, if I had come to you and told you that at the start of 2001, you would have kicked me in the groin and probably considered murdering me because you just would have thought I was full of crap. And whilst thinking about it in such shallow terms would be silly anyway, we're not just talking about Punk in the ring here. We're talking about what the man brings to outside the squared circle do. Because not only did he sell a crazy amount of merchandise, which is always good for the bottom line, but he did light a fire under a bunch of Laps fans' asses who decided, oh man, maybe I'll go see what this AEW thing is all about. And I know this is true to a certain extent because a bunch of my friends that haven't watched the grappling in ages started texting me going, well, this is about CM Punk coming back to the ring. And I gave them the information and they tuned in. And all this is before we start talking about the other wrestlers themselves. I mean, you don't think the younger people on the roster aren't super pumped to see CM Punk just walking backstage? He was probably their hero when they were growing up and now they get to be peers and now they get to be buddies. Everybody wants that in their life. It's called living a certain kind of dream. He would also have invaluable advice that you can only get from the kind of experiences that he has been from. And if your counterpoint to this is, well, that one episode of AEW Dynamite didn't do very well. You know what? Your opinion is correct. Your opinion is the right one. You are the greatest person on the planet. I ain't even gonna bother getting into it. If you really wanna break it down as well, CM Punk seems really happy. I swear too many times in this wrestling business, we forget to focus on the human element of the human being and just knowing that the real life Phil Brooks has come back to something that he truly loved and has re-found that passion, well, it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy in my tum tum. I mean, just seeing him come out every week and smile is enough for me to be entertained. And as ever, we're fans. You don't have to worry about metrics. You don't have to worry about ratings. You don't have to worry about numbers. As long as you walk away from any wrestling show that you decide to watch and you feel good about it, then it was a worthwhile use of your time. And even if you're the only person that decided to tune in, who the flub cares? But even if you do think this as well, okay then, you're perfectly allowed, but just don't watch. When Wednesday or Friday nights come around, 
go and do something else, but you're only going to be shooting yourself in the foot. Because do you honestly believe that we are not going to get to the point where CM Punk is competing for the world title or CM Punk is taking on a Kenny Omega? It's going to happen. In fact, it's probably just around the corner. We're just taking baby steps to get there. And to me, that's why all of this is so great too. Sometimes the anticipation is even better than the event itself. And I can sit here and go, oh my gosh, we're going to get CM Punk versus Adam Cole. And we're going to get CM Punk versus MJF. So I turn into a Muppet because I'm so pumped for this. I want to live in this bubble and eventually it will pop. But then I can get into another one because again, there's so many good people on the roster. And yes, sometimes he wears long boys. Good grief, am I bored about having this discussion? One, it allows us to call him CN Trunks when he does wear pants, and we've never been able to do that before. But also, two, I like the fact he changes his gear. Not only does it kind of define his AEW role, but as a wrestler myself, sometimes I turn up to shows and go, maybe I'll wear a singlet, wear I'll maybe biker shorts, maybe I'll go out there naked. I mean, I'd never do that. I'd probably have some kind of fit. I'd be so terrified. And it's not really an option, but I suppose you could try. So as far as I'm concerned, this really is being negative for the sake of being negative. It's like me rocking up to your house and saying, hey, here's a lifetime supply of ice cream, which is kind of ironic given the video, and you being like, but I wanted a lifetime supply of burgers. You are never gonna be happy, you are never going to be pleased, and you need to turn that frown upside down. Straight up then, nobody has botched CM Punk, and I am still baffled and bewildered that we're even making this video to address, again, some absolutely nuts human beings. Unless, of course, CM Punk comes out next week on Dynamite and he sets fire to the ring while jumping around going, I hate bunnies and I want to crush them all. If he does that, then yes, this may have gone wrong. Also, CM Punk really good at the wrestling. He'd probably figure out a way to make it work. Just remember how you felt in 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020. A constant discussion point is, will CM Punk ever come back to wrestling? And now we have it. So embrace it, give it a loving hug, and just, I know it's the thing that everybody says, but it's true here, let it play out and enjoy it for what it is. Because if nothing else, what have we learnt recently? You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So we better all enjoy today. Now, please do leave a comment below and let us know what you think about CM Punk and whether he's been botched in AEW. I'm not reading the comments on this one because one person will say yes, and then I gotta stick my foot in my mouth. And I don't even know what that means. Then like the video, share the video and subscribe. Head on over to whatculture.com where we will keep you up to date with all the wrestling news. Make sure you come and say hello to us on social media and give us a follow. And we got a ton of videos, some of which are why videos. Go and watch them all. My name is Simon What Culture. Thank you for watching me as always. And a question I still get, even though we've been doing this for years, is Simon, why do you slap your head on the wide videos? I don't have an answer for you. I just did it once and it kind of got a reaction in the comments, so I thought I'd do it again. Then I was slapping all kind of bits of my body, including my ass. It made one person laugh and that was enough for me. And here we are, like four years later, and I'm still doing it. Does that make me a weird human being? The answer is yes. But here I am in my video land. You can't break through your screen and get here. I'm safe and I'll see you on the next one. I love you.